Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and I am here for the flip through of the cruciform, um, what do we call these again? A uh, full size flip flop journal, sorry, <laughs> I drew a blank there. So this journal is already spoken for. Um, it measures nine by six, <clears throat> let me make sure, nine, yes, yep, because <laughs> sometimes I change things, but I know that it's two 12 inch uh, manila file or not file folders um envelopes that make the base of it so anyway um <clears throat> the front i have done as you know if you've been watching but if you're just watching this flip through then i have taken a piece of cor corrugated cardboard and done a collage kind of all over it and then added fabric to the back and glued that down <clears throat> there is uh this is wool that is blue. I know it's hard to tell. It looks black on camera, but it's blue and black houndstooth. It's a very small houndstooth. My daughter actually made herself a wool jacket out of this material, and this was left over, and I just thought it went really well with this, this kit. So <clears throat> I've put that wherever uh, the signatures have been sewn in. I just like to do that. It just feels a little bit more secure to me. It's not something you have to do. You can leave the strings of the um, signature hanging so you can hang things off of them and all that. Um, that's just, I just am not into that, but you can totally do that. And then you open it up and there's a pocket page and that's what I call these pages that have uh, lots of pockets on them. This one only has three, but um, this is a large pocket. These are in my uh, Etsy shop. Um, they're just pockets <laughs> that look like actual like old pockets. And this one is in the cruciform kit and it kind of looks like a, a blueprint type made into a pocket. And then these are um, images that are in my kit and uh, the cruciform kit. And so that one goes in there, and this one goes in here. Sorry, I don't know why I'm kind of struggling with words today. <clears throat> the main kit here is the cruciform kit, which is in my Etsy shop. It's a digital kit. This is um, grungy blue wallpaper. This was gifted to me by Carol Laws. Thank you so much, Carol. I, I love these images. They're just fantastic. She had a book that had all these in them, and they're so perfect for this. So... I thank you my friend and then a little book page here and on this side is another pocket and these were also gifted to me um, by Carol so they're really cool they go perfectly and I thought about you know you could put paper in them to write but I don't want to cover any of that they're just cool images so I guess those aren't super useful other than they're really fun to look at so um but you could definitely slip something else in this pocket as well and this is my uh, 16th, I always want to say 16th, I think it's 18th century coloring book. They're just old um, illustrations from that time period of different flowers. And they're a little bit smaller, so you'll notice these pages are a little bit smaller. They had to be cut down to, to fit. And some music paper. And then this is out of a children's um, Bible that a friend gave to me that was just falling apart. And uh, so I've used some of the images in different Christmas journals and things like that that I've done, but I just, I love that image, it's beautiful. So I just kind of put that on as a flip and you can write on that side. And then this is from my art dolls, my grungy art dolls, digital. They just, the colors go really well with this kit in those background pages. This is some Sears and Roebuck. The, it's the reprint and that's some faux coffee dyed paper that I get off of Amazon and these are kit pages this is the grungy blue wallpaper this is the grungy old paper or old grungy paper I can never remember which way I, I did that and these images are all um, out of a book <clears throat> and I added one of my little uh, laser die cuts there as an angel and then there's our center. And these are out of a Paris book that I had, but this is St. Paul. I just love those old sketches. They're so cool. So I added one of those, and you can write on the back, obviously. 
If you have questions about any of the papers, just ask and I'm happy to tell you. I did try to list all the kits that I used in the description box below the video so that you can um, find find all of that easier if, if you're wanting to. <clears throat> this uh, is a book page pocket that we made in one of the book page pocket um, sessions that I have in my, there's a playlist that's called book page pockets and so it's just it's a super simple one and then this I just found in um I can't even remember what book I found that in I think it was a music book but anyway somebody else wrote that I just thought that was kind of fun to make a tag out of that to be poking out of there and then here is an old postcard that was never written on or anything but it's a cathedral so it was perfect to go in this journal and that's just tucked behind <clears throat> one more book page and here I just used a Rolodex card and um, added different papers and then cut that angel out of one of the journaling cards that's in the kit and added her on there and then that's a piece of the ephemera and this again is from my friend Carol Oz thank you Carol this is so cool because that's just perfect for this so thank you so much, Carol. That was so sweet of you to send me those. <clears throat> and then here we have another book page pocket. These um, are in the cruciform kit. And then there's just a little angel one there, tag. And then another one with one of the cathedrals. And this one with the flower. Lots of writing room there. And then here is another old postcard, the Lady Chapel Altar in a cathedral. And this goes in here. You gotta kind of shimmy this this one in there, Fern, just so you know. And then this goes here. And then we are to this kind of center area, and there is a pocket here <clears throat> that, as you can see, is the uh, manila envelope opening. And I've just done a large journaling card for there. I love that image, too, with the church out there, out her window. So that tucks in there and then you go to this next signature and we have another pocket page that has a tag from the kit and I didn't back any of these they're all printed on cardstock so I think that they're fine you're just adding bulk if you're you know if you add too much to the back of these this was um out of a book that I have that has old clip art images that's not in the kit this is in the kit though so all those are tucked into this pocket page. And th this pocket page started with a letter, as you can see back here. And so those pieces are tucked into the letter, essentially. And then this is one of the pockets that's in one of my pocket kits. This is this one. These can be a little bit tight. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta like lift the page a little bit and that helps them tuck in there. And then this just tucks in that fold of the letter. <clears throat> more kit page and more of the beautiful cathedral pages. Very cool. And this one, I can't remember which kit this is in. I'm drawing a blank on that, but it'll be in the description box below the video. Sorry about that. And this was a um, kind of an old book page that was shiny, so I went over it with uh, matte Mod Podge, whatever, um, to make the gloss go away. But you can see some of the lines from the brush. <laughs> So I guess you either see lines from a brush or super shiny paper. Those are your options. <laughs> but just made a journaling card out of that. And this is another one of those pieces from Carol Laws. And we have a tag here as well. And this is an old envelope from 1954. And more kit page, music paper. 
And then I did a little flip here and a journaling card. This was out of a history book. I told you guys I was taking apart one of my history books. <laughs> so that, that worked out well. I just did a little tuck there that the, the flap of this little flip-flop goes in. There's a tall, skinny tag with old book paper. You can see the cracks in it. And that one opens like this as well, so you can write in here. So it's that, that, and then you have another little spot. So that one is fun. And then more Sears and Roebuck. And the grungy blue wallpaper, and that's in the kit. The pretty blue church or cathedral. And then this is um, in the kit. This is one of the pockets. And I just, you know, collaged on it. Added some cheesecloth and an uh, image. <clears throat> These images are actually from a different Etsy shop. And I linked them. I'll have to make sure I link them again. But anyway, there's a washi sticker. And more writing space on the back of another one of those cool old sketches. And then this we did in the color challenge. It was cross and brown. So and then inside of there is an old 1952 envelope. And I've just done a partial guest check and a journaling card there using images from the kit. That just tucks in there. It's a belly band, so can go all the way through this the cross only goes to you know the edge there more pretty images from carol and then i love the colors how they turned out on this one we just did this one together uh yesterday yeah so i got them all finished up and decorated and ready to go and then in here we have this is another book page that I had. And this one I did not go over. It's a little shiny, but it's not too, too horrible. But just a journaling card and added a little collage down there. I love this Tim Holtz paper in here. Works perfectly. That's all that is, is Tim Holtz paper. That big square pocket. And then our uh, book page envelope. Down there, and then now we're flipping it to the other side. And here we have another image um, from Heidi. Thank you so much, Heidi. And I did put the matte medium over the top, but you can still see a little bit of shine to that. So, but it opens, and there's coffee dyed paper to write. Lots of writing space there. And then this one has a guest check, an old letter is what the base is. And I just, I just folded it, folded the top back. I loved how it said sometime in 1949. I just thought that was really fun. Um, folded that edge back, and then that becomes a little tuck spot for a couple pieces of ephemera. Just tucked in there. And then the next signature, or the last signature, I should say. Here we have a little pocket with just a little tuck. You could tuck all kinds of things back there. And then um, a journaling card. That's just made out of book page. Just It was actually a torn piece of book page. It was torn, and all I did is fold it over and stitch it up. And, you know, I clogged on it first. But So a super simple way to make a little tuck spot and pocket. I like how that said the angel came and then there's the angel that that was serendipitous that didn't I didn't do it on purpose it just turned out that way which was cool um oh is that really gonna stick oh, no not too bad uh this is one of the um angel die cuts again I just thought that might look kind of neat on that page shows up really well and then another one of those cool these are from an old book 
Um, so they're all original sketches. Well, obviously they've been printed to make the book, but you know what I mean? They're old. I didn't recopy them or anything. Journaling card there on that belly band that we made out of book page. I did that with you guys as far as I painted over it. This one came out nice. I think it wasn't quite as shiny, so you don't see the lines as much. Plus, it's darker. But, um, yeah, tricky. Tricky to get those to come out without lines. So, but that just goes in there. Love that image. Lots of writing room left in this, or spots to put photographs, or if you want to add more of your own ephemera, you can definitely do that. We made this one together in a video. And then this is another one of those same type of envelopes that I just showed you that we made yesterday. So all those little bits get tucked in there. This one goes at the back. And then this last, um, I don't know if you'd call it a page, it's the back of the book. There's some journaling cards made from the kit and I signed it. And one of the pockets there collaged. This is actually a book page that I just folded the bottom up, put a thumb notch in it, collaged the front strip because I love, I love that image right there. So that, oops, this one goes in here. But yeah, very, this was a lot of fun to make. I really, really enjoyed it very much. So that is it. It is complete. So I will um, be contacting you, Fern, and um, if you're still interested, you can purchase it. It will be listed in the shop when you see this video. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make an envelope type thing. And I kind of got started on this idea from Nancy Pitter. Thank you, Nancy. She did a large envelope with a window in it and she folded it over so that it it's meant to go pretend this is a whole journaling page so you'd put one side like that um and then when you turn the page you know you've got the other side or if it's in the signature you could have a couple pages in between but anyways it's just a fun way to do it then it gets stitched in uh, to the signature here. So I, I just really liked that idea. And I know people have put envelopes in and done all that. So it's, it's not necessarily that it's a new idea, but it's just sort of a new way to do it. And I'll try to remember to link her video so that you can go over and check out, you know, what she actually did. Cause hers is obviously going to be a lot different than mine. I'm not even using the same kind of envelope. It just sort of got me going, you know how you do. So I'm going to use some of my grungy, um, maybe I'll use this side, grungy fabric kit is what this is because I want to make a sort of red, white, and blue type um, journal, and I don't know totally yet because like this is just the I'm just sort of in that playing around with the idea phase. <laughs> So I don't know exactly when I'll get my act together. It kind of can take me a while after I finish a journal to start a new journal. It just, it can be a little uh, daunting, I have to say, because you're kind of in the mode of doing something else and then it's just time to switch it up, right? So it gets you a little, and you do get a little tired of, I don't know. Sometimes I just need to make ephemera. I don't know how to, else to say it. <laughs> I think y'all get it if you make journals all the time. So we're just going to kind of play with this is what we're going to do. And these are two envelopes, and I didn't even tell you, that are the same size. And I just tucked the tab of this one into this one. And then this flap I'm going to have as a tuck spot. So I'm going to put this on there, but I'll have this as a tuck spot. And then I can't decide. I think I'm going to slit this envelope down the side to have it as a pocket that way. And then when you open it, 
I may have another pocket in here, but I don't know. So we're just going to play around and, and see what we get. So if you have some envelopes that you want to use, or like I said, check out Nancy's video too, because she really did a cool, um, she used like a junk mail envelope. So I have these. My husband brought them home from work. They, I don't know what they're doing. They're closing a certain part of the hospital and all this they actually closed it I think during COVID or something and then it just never got used again so now they're gonna use it again but they're using it for something than what it was originally meant for and there was just all this random stuff in there like sort of office supply stuff and all that that nobody they were just like yeah just clean it out and toss it or whatever so he brought home paper and envelopes and stuff like that for me. So that worked out wonderful. I was happy to have it. I, this is sticky and that's kind of bugging me. So I think I'm just going to put some random paper there to make it not sticky, hopefully. Wow, that barely covers it. So yeah, you know. All the things that go on in the world, the wasteful. Because <laughs> obviously they used all this stuff for something at some point, and then it's just like, why didn't somebody go get it? I don't know. I don't know. Nobody asked my opinion, so. But if they're going to throw it in the trash, I was like, I'll take it. I can do something with some of it. Or all of it, or whatever. So I'm going to glue that on there. And then you'll see this flap of this envelope doesn't come all the way to the edge. So I'm just going to put the glue on, and it'll glue that flap down. Rather than putting any glue in here. That way that whole flap will be open. If you get my drift. Hopefully. <laughs> mm. I might have to put a little bit at that like back edge just sort of right back, right here to make sure that it stays closed oh so the whole eclipse I knew we weren't gonna see a lot because we're like nowhere near the path we're way too far uh, west and north northwest um, but literally like I did not even notice I kept looking out the window while I was working yesterday and looking at my neighbor's driveway because it's you know when the sun's shining on it it's really bright right there and I just kept looking and looking and it's like no change no change because I thought if I see it changing a little bit I'll go out and look I never saw any change and my husband's like you didn't even see it and I'm like oh you know what I should do first wait I should do this <laughs> um and I was like no I didn't ever even notice that there was any change he's like well it was only 30 percent so that's probably we only got like 30 percent I said I kept looking but it just never I never noticed any change at all and I was checking around the time when it supposedly was but yeah we're just we're just way too far I mean, he did see a little bit, but he's like, it wasn't, it was almost like a cloud going over the sun. So that's probably why. I mean, it only lasts four minutes too. I could have been, but let's just say wasn't noticeable as far as the light in the room or anything. So. We got to see the last last one came right over our area, so. Seen, seen a few. Yeah, so that was 
Interesting. Okay, where's my little... That will be better. <laughs> so I am going to have to put a little of this glue now right down the edge. That's okay. I was trying to be clever. I should have put a thumb notch in that too, huh? Oh my goodness. Off to a great start here. Loops and blenders galore. And then I just have a book, glue book page that I'm going to turn into a journaling card to go in there. So we'll do that real quick. And I didn't get a chance to get some more of my um, stuff printed out. Pictures. So I'm just going to use some of the people of the past pictures. But I am coming out with some... Actually, this flower would be kind of cool on there. I am working right now on a digital that is more, you know, sort of patriotic pictures. People dressed in red, white, and blue and all that. So, But they are more photographs rather than um, when I did that uh, freebie, it was uh, a little bit more like these ones. Uh, illustration style but these ones are more like photographs so that's what, oh that was way off <laughs> I think I'll make a mark because I'm gonna end up messing this up yeah so that will be out hopefully maybe by the time you see this I don't know it depends on what I get done today some days are more effective than others, I will just say. But yeah, that's the plan anyways. What are you guys up to? Anything fun? Did you? I saw some of your pictures on Instagram of the eclipse, and a lot of you got really good pictures and views and all that. So it is kind of it is a cool thing, and the lighting is the weirdest. Like I think it was Celeste, or no, maybe it was Betty Ann, um, mentioning that it didn't really do anything where she was at either, other than change the light, and you know, it just made the light kind of eerie and weird. And yes, that is definitely, I didn't even get that here, but I do know what she meant. It's, it can be very eerie. I can imagine, you know, um, and now I ripped that too short. I am just a mess today. Um, you know, way back before science knew a lot about all these kinds of things, it, it would be frightening. I'm not going to lie. If you had no idea what was happening that could be very frightening I mean now we know and they can predict when it's going to happen and everything but just imagine you knew nothing about it and one day all of a sudden that happens that would just be very bizarre so I get why there's some you know superstition and stuff that goes along with it Luckily, it's short-lived, so there's that, which helps make it not quite so scary. But Nonetheless, scary. Do I want another? Yeah, maybe this would work, this little strip that these goofy, messed-up, worn-out-looking flowers. <laughs> or even the stripes would be kind of cool, huh? Maybe we'll use the stripes because they're a little, a little bit thinner, not such a thick piece. 
So yeah, I thought it would be fun to do a journal, a little patriotic journal. And, but not just flags and stuff, you know what I mean? Like, I like these fabrics that just sort of allude to that, but they aren't screaming. It was, that's one of my favorite um, holidays because it was one of my dad's favorites. So it always reminds me of him. So it's always a ha happy memory. So he loved, he just loved 4th of July. The only thing that makes me not super crazy about it is it's always so hot. <laughs> and I'm a big wimp. So, yeah. And the other thing where I grew up, we, that was the only time, in Nevada you can't have fireworks um, at all. <laughs> you can't even have sparklers. And so that's the only time we got to see fireworks was on the 4th of July when the fire department, uh, I'm just going to use that one, uh, did a show because then they could monitor and they had all the fire trucks there because inevitably it was always windy. But anyway, they could monitor and then if they got a little brush fire, they could get it put out and all that kind of stuff. But it was, it was always fun because we always had, it was a small town. We always had the parade and then there was usually a picnic at the park and fireworks at night. And yeah, it was just very fun. Just like you see in the Hallmark videos, right? <laughs> That's it. That is about what it was like, though. <laughs> yeah, he just, he loved it. Good times, other than the wind. wind blows there every day no matter what washo zephyrs and it isn't i mean when that's all you know you don't know any better but now that i've lived here <laughs> that's real annoying so yeah we like we never I mean, I can think of probably a handful of times in my childhood when we ate outside in the summer, like for dinner, because that wind would whip up at four o'clock and then just wouldn't really die down until it got dark. And so you just, we never hardly ate dinner outside. A few times at my grandparents because they kind of had a patio that was surrounded by, you know, between the house and the fence and all that kind of stuff. It was, wasn't too bad some nights. So there were a few times we did eat out there, but it's just not something you do up there really because the wind. Compared to here, there's much more. I always see people eating out and we do a lot more obviously too because we can uh, the thing here is a lot of times bugs <laughs> and we didn't have that problem there because of the wind <laughs> but it's always something right always something. But we do. We do a lot. Eat out a lot in the summer. See? Isn't that just fun? Now we're going to open it. Oh, we want to 
Um, I'm trying to decide, sorry. I think I'll cover it first and then I'll cut it down this side. I don't know if I want to cut down this side or have it maybe at the top. I didn't know. I think maybe I will just cut this. Because I know that one's going to be side opening. So I'm just cutting like a sliver, sliver, sliver. Because we're just trying to open the envelope. We're not trying to change the size. So, so you just enough to open it. And then I have to remember not to glue my envelope closed. But see, just a sliver. If I can manage that. I don't know what I want to put on there. It would be kind of nice to have something maybe to write on or could do a pocket of some kind. Like an inside pocket. Did I open it already? Oh, yeah. For a minute I thought, what did I do? That's just really dark. Trying to decide if I want to go over that fold. I think I'm just going to go to the middle and then I don't like to make it too thick. I'll have to ink in there because that fold is already going to go in the center you know, of the journal. So I really just don't want it to get too thick. In the middle signature, you know. You could also like coffee dye these if you're not liking how white they are. Or you could spritz them with some um, Tim Holtz and then if you're using white ones, you might be using something entirely different. Wonderful. I do love it. I don't necessarily love it here. <laughs> I used to, but that was when it was a lot smaller. It's a lot bigger now. And you are allowed to set off fireworks here. And it gets completely insane in our neighborhood. And I'm afraid they're going to catch your house on fire. <laughs> They're not supposed, you're supposed to only use the, you know, stuff kind of at ground level, um, sparklers and all that kind of stuff. You're not supposed to set off the mortars, but they do. So, and they don't really police it at all. So it's just very chaotic. And scary sometimes. It wasn't too bad this year. The year before was terrifying. I seriously thought our house was going to catch on fire. I think it's gotten cost prohibit prohibitive. I'll just say that. Oh, I did it. I didn't put it down, luckily, but I still messed it up. You're only supposed to glue along the edge because if you glue in this part, then obviously your envelope is closed. So we're going to take a piece of this and put it on that section because I'm dopey. I 
I don't know why, and I don't even know what end this is, but we'll just make sure this is the end that goes right here. Some days, I'm telling you, I do it every time, right, Nan? Nan knows. She's been watching me forever, and she laughs because I do this every single time. No matter how many times, that's not the way I wanted it, but it's okay. So now what you got to do is just put a bead of glue along there. I'm going to put a little more on this part to make sure it gets glued down. And then you just put a little that needs to glue down right here to close it up at the top. But you don't want to glue that whole section that I glued closed. If you see what I'm saying, I might as well get those corners while I'm at it. Yeah, that wasn't my my best move. But I caught it, luckily, because a lot of times I don't. Some of you must have been yelling at me. Don't do it. <laughs> I heard you. There. So now that'll still be open back there. Yes. Okay. Don't open it yet, because it's not, we don't want it to come undone there. Airy tea. Now what are we going to put on the side? That piece? I don't like those little bits of the... I mean, we don't have to have it the same. It's not going to be anywhere near each other, honestly. So maybe we'll put some stars. This is a little more 4th of July-ish, but... Wouldn't have to be. Be for something else. I'm also working on in that same kit there'll be some denim pockets and things like that. It is it is much more I guess you could say 4th of July-ish or Memorial Day or whatever the patriotic time is that you want to use it for would work wonderfully. Or, as someone mentioned, they bought, I think, this kit. Um, she's making a military journal for her her whole family's, you know, been in the military in one area or another. And so, that's an awesome idea, too. My dad was in the Navy briefly, but, you know, he did one four years however however that works out I don't I don't really know a lot about the military I wasn't in the military but anyway I definitely thank all those people who have served their country for sure because that's that's a lot and we wouldn't be us without you so thank you for your service Definitely. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure this out before I... I think I'll glue here. Along the edge of this. And then I'll glue along the edge of this. And then I don't have to worry about, did I come in far enough maybe on the side? And I'll put some on the sides too. So it's tricky. <laughs> you just want to glue the whole thing. Now this one I'm going to cut at the top to open. So you just got to take, I don't want to cut it with a cutter because I know that I will chop the whole thing if I do that. You stay down. I'm going to cut a very thin sliver. Okay. 
Okay, so now that one's open. Oh, that flap needs to get glued down. I forgot to do that. So, oh, why did I forget to do that? I probably would have been better off on this side putting the glue all the way. You know, the things that you do <laughs> when you're making these projects. So I think what I'll do, that's the flap that I tucked inside. Um, I'm going to glue mostly the top here, obviously, because I can't reach far enough. I could have put glue on that and been fine. So isn't that always the way? But anyways, if we at least get the top part glued, I don't think it'll catch a tag too bad, hopefully. But glue your flap <laughs> before you you do that. So see, down in there, I think it'll be fine if this part is glued, because that's, you know, nothing should catch on that, hopefully. All right, and now we'll go to the back. I'm not gonna worry about what I'm putting inside of it yet. We may come back and do some, um, Sometimes you got to refold these things because they don't want to lay right after you add a bunch of other paper to it. I don't know why it's doing that. All right, what are we going to put on the back? Put this back in here so I don't forget it. There's that, there's that. We need something on the back. Nice flowers. And also stripes too, but we got stripes and flowers. Oh, I can like that one. Let's do this one. Maybe we could. on that before it dries out. I'm trying to figure out where my <laughs> corner was. And I'm thinking if I fold it up, I don't think that'll work. I mean, I could fold it up, but I was thinking of folding it up and over. I could do that and then just add more. So it fold right here. Tear that and then fold it down to here. And then add a little something else down there. That's kind of weird the way those flowers lined up. <laughs> I may end up just covering it. We're just gonna mess up the top because I forgot to tear it before I folded it. Ink around this. That way we'll have another pocket on it. I mean you could do you could do these a million different ways. You could do side pockets, you know, like a a pocket like that wide that would tuck something into there. You could do all kinds of different things. I just thought these were fun. That got my mind going. Thank you, Nancy. She she did a very cool envelope, so definitely check out what she did. I'm going to glue that down. If nothing else, it'll strengthen that. This actually 
actually might work on there. Might just put that on there. Stripes. Let me see. That blue isn't quite the same as the reason I I do like the stars, but I just don't think I like that flower the way it is. So I think I'm just going to go with the blue regardless. If it's the same or not. I know, I'm silly. I'm a silly one. They're about the same either way. Okay. We can put up the notch in this one because we didn't close it up yet. Today we have the rolling clouds going through. So it's dark and then light and then dark and then light, you know. It's that thing today. Is this the right? Yes. Okay. I'll glue it down and then I'll glue the that little flap closed. So I am using grungy fabric. I have two. Two of the one and two or I think it's grungy fabric and grungy fabric two. Um, because the first one, you know, it's, it's, I just felt like I needed more. If I was going to make a journal, I wanted more. And then the new one will also have a few kind of backing pages too. The ones with the more of the stars and things are in the second one. I think all these ones are in the second one, except the ones I used on the first page, the scraps. It all becomes a blur <laughs> when you make them back to back like that. Okay, yeah, I like that. I think that's pretty cool. So if this is a journal, you stitch it right in. And uh, the way Nancy did it, she did it a little different because she uh, was saying you could glue, which you could still do to this one. You could have a pocket here. You could glue it along these sides and then have another tuck pocket there. And then that way it's attached to the page when you open it. And then this side, the same thing. It would be attached to the page. So then you would have an option for another tuck pocket. I might leave mine free since I covered these, you know, more of a free floating one inside of there. But this one opens at the top. This one opens on the side. We could put some, what did I do? Oh, right in front of my nose. Put some thumb notches. And then we'd have to make journaling cards for those too as well. But I'm gonna let you guys go because it's been it's been a minute. Oh, that's a big. I don't mean to do it quite that big. <laughs> I'll have to cover in there with something. And then this one. Try not to chomp the whole thing. It's just very hard to tell. Guess I should do it fairly similar at least. But I feel like you could write on this one okay. 
So there we are for that. I hope you guys like that idea. And thank you so much for all of you who watched all the way to the end of that journal. That was a really fun journal for me. So thank you, thank you for that. I really appreciate all of you. There's another. Yeah, I think those are super fun to do. And obviously we, a lot of us have extra envelopes. So get your envelopes. You could even make envelopes on your envelope punch board if you have one of those. I'm, I'm sorry, I know not everybody has one of those. But if you have one, you could make your own envelopes and then you wouldn't have to cover them all. <laughs> all right, guys, I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and we will chat again soon. Love ya. Bye.